All right, welcome everyone to this uh, solution for our double jump challenge. So uh, if you're wondering what the challenge is, the challenge is to essentially create a double jump with our player. Now here we have a simple player that goes up and down and that's it. It is the default script with our platformer. OK, so here you can kind of look at the code. You don't have to really copy it. It's the template again. Uh, but now let's take a look at double jumping. Now, double jumping is actually not that hard because all we need to do is create a uh, variable called jump count and I can set this to zero by default. Now what I can do here is every time I jump I will simply add one. Now the cool thing about this is that now I don't really check for is on floor I check to see if jump count well is greater than a certain number. Now here if I said if jump count is greater than one, well that would only allow me to jump once. If I did jump count is a bigger than two, this will allow me to do, do a double jump. So let's give this a try. Let's take a look here. Okay, so I just realized I'm supposed to do smaller than two, not bigger than two. That would make a lot more sense. So now there we go. Now I can double jump, but there's a problem. You can see that, well, it doesn't reset. The jump count stays at two. So what we can do here is it, well, you can kind of add it wherever, but eventually at some point, we're going to want to check to see if is on floor is true. Once it is, I can just set the jump count equal to zero. This will reset our jump count. So essentially when I hit the floor, I want to reset the jump count. So now when I hit play, I can do a double jump. But every time I hit the floor, I can reset. Now, of course, if you want to do a double jump effect or whatever, that's actually pretty easy because now inside of here, you can see if jump count, uh, jump count is bigger than one. If it is, that means you're doing the double jump. That means, or sorry, <laughs> less than uh, one or bigger than one, right? Uh, or I guess bigger than zero, no, one. You probably want to check for bigger than one uh, right after adding to it, right? So regardless, you can kind of check to see what uh, jump you're on, right? So you can do equal equal to one, and that will allow you to see if you're on your second jump or first jump or whatever, right? So um, you can use that to allow you to figure out if you're on your double jump or your first jump or whatever. So hopefully this video helps. Um, if it did, hit the subscribe button down below, and hopefully I'll see you all next week.